Hey, hey, this is Julian, and you are on Eat the Blocks. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can change from finance to the blockchain industry if you work as a tech person in finance. So you're a developer, you're building some financial implica application in, in banks or other financial organization. So typically for people like this, they probably work with Java or C Sharp. So um, most of the blockchain industry do not use this technology, but there is an exception, is the world of permission blockchain. So permission blockchain are a subset of blockchain that are private. So these are private blockchain that are used by large company um, for example, uh, in the supply chain industry or even in the banking industry. Uh, so companies who want to exchange data privately because with normal public blockchain, everything is public. So this is not acceptable for a lot of companies. So for permission blockchain, the kind of technology they use is you, a, lot, a lot of them are with uh, language programming language that are more used in, in these big companies so you have a lot of uh, java uh and sometimes some some c sharp um so yeah i mean if you already have these skills then you can totally reuse them um, so you can look up project like a uh, hyperledger um like a quorum uh, but really if you're a tech person in the finance industry and you want to get started in blockchain i would say that targeting this specific segment of blockchain is probably the best strategy for you. By the way, if you want to know the whole process of how you can become a blockchain developer, I've created a free course that you can follow by following the link down below. So make sure to follow this course because I really give you all my secret, how I find my first job at blockchain developer, how I've made the whole change. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.